Hey, welcome back to Sean's Trains. I got something fun for you guys today. I'm going to try building one of these classic kits from um, Scale Trains here. I haven't built one of these yet from them. It's kind of a dreary day outside, so there's not a whole lot to do. Uh, I just got done running some errands and went to the hobby shop, picked up a couple things, and we're going to put this kit together. I'll have a timer on. I'm going to hyperlapse it so you guys don't have to sit and watch the whole thing. And we're going to review it. So let's take a look at this kit and see what's all included. Alright. So, let's take this out and see what comes with the kit. So right here, right away, we can see there's some weights in here. There's actually a fair bit of weights in the box. And if we take this out, all the weights in here, which is awesome. That means this car is going to be great on the track. I'm going to pull this out of the plastic here. Looks like we've got some tape. The goal is not to go to the emergency room today. All right. So we've got the car here, the car body. Um, nicely detailed. I would say it's on par with uh, Athen Ready Doral, which is about right. Um, this kit's $20. Uh, for, for this, I mean, this shouldn't take more than a few minutes to put together. You've got some basic underbody details. You've got roller bearing trucks, metal wheels, metal axles, that's awesome. You've got the weights in here, and holy cow, that is a good amount of weight. I don't have a scale, but that is certainly more than enough. Um, and then we've got the underframe here. So I'll be putting KD couplers on this. I will not be using the factory couplers. Uh, so, But for 20 bucks, this is awesome. I mean, this is less than an Athen ready to roll. It should go together pretty quick. Uh, as some would say, a shake -a box kit. Um, I don't know about the prototype on this, but I know that I've seen yellow Milwaukee Organos before. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I didn't get the counter up, but that took about 12 minutes, 40 seconds. And you can see I came across a couple little things I struggled with. Um, <clears throat> number one, the air tank reservoir. No matter which way you place it in here, um, in the little slot that's here, it sticks out from the car body. And either, either way you put it. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, I suppose I could flip this for this guy, I think. Looks like they fit two different ways. Yeah, it's two different size plugs. I don't know if it'll go in like that. Yeah, because this is square and this has got kind of a horseshoe shape to it. So it is what it is. So that detail will go in there and stay in there, hopefully. I'm not going to glue anything together. I'm just going to press fit it just like it would an Acurel kit um, for some of the ends and stuff. Another thing I want to point out is there were no, there's nothing to cut these from. Everything was loose already. There's no sprues. There's some sprue marks on the um, uh, brake wheel here and it doesn't quite go in all the way. You could open it up and glue it real easy. I'm not worried about it. Um, Got my couplers in. One thing I will note is the coupler pockets were a little tight. I had to play with it a little bit to get it to work, but I'm happy. Um, I don't know about the coupler height. Um, but overall, that was pretty simple. 12 minutes, 40 seconds isn't bad. Again, you get metal wheels, metal axles, some of the best trucks on the market. You get the scale trans couplers, which a lot of people love. I just prefer to have the KDs. And we'll see how it looks next to this Genesis MP15. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, it does look a little tall uh, overall. I'm not sure why. Uh, the only thing I might end up having to do is throw some washers on it, some red washers, just to raise it up a hair. It does look a little bit low, but the trip pins are above the rail, and I'm happy. So for uh, less than $20, 
I got that car for almost exactly $20. I got that car with semi-skilled couplers, so scale trains, excellent work. Uh, these will look great next to your after and ready to roll, your Accurail kits, um, other scale trains, you know, not rivet counter models, um, definitely not museum models, but I mean, it's a great looking car, it's sharp. Um, you can kind of see through the plastic a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can make it out, but the plastic's a little thin. Uh, once you put a load in it or start weathering it, you won't even notice. So this car is going to be great for that. Um, overall, two thumbs up. Excellent job, scale trains. One other thing I want to point out real quick is that this car goes back in this box very securely. Um, and any extra parts you have can go in that little uh, uh, zipper bag that came with the car. Um, it actually fits, I mean, that's perfect. It's a perfect fit. Then you've got the wrapper in there. Put your instructions back in the box. Unless you're going to put it on the layout right away. Perfect. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is all the ones that I saw in the store were shipped with the case upside down. I'm guessing it was so you could see this. Uh, I just thought it was kind of amusing. Um, and I want to uh, give a shout out to a gentleman who shared a Santa Fe caboose for the Kit Classics on Facebook. I don't remember your name. I don't remember the group. But it looked so good. I thought I'd give it a look um, in, a, in a shot. And I actually found a few cars I want to get. Um, today I was looking at uh, two box cars and, uh, up from here, from the Kit Classics. And I was looking at a hopper from Tangent. And I thought, man, I, for 40 bucks I can get two cars. Or for $60 I can get one hopper. Um, I'm glad I asked because they actually had this guy and, um, I picked up a couple other things, but you know, I was, I'm, I'm really happy with it. They've got two other road numbers. I might go grab them for $60. You've got three cars with couplers. This was Hiawatha Hobbies. Retail is $23.99. Their price was $18.99. So excellent, excellent model, excellent price. Great deal. Thanks for watching Sean's Trains. We'll see you in the next video. Happy modeling.